finally, Jason has returned to the internet. Welcome to the podcast podcast. Welcome back, all you Billy Bumblers. I know you've probably missed me as much as I've missed you, but I've had company in town. My sister-in-law, Kim, and her son, Isaac, and Kai were, were down visiting. Uh, so when you have company, it you know it doesn't leave you a lot of time to just sit here in the mornings and chit-chat with uh, all your many millions and millions of followers. Oh, wait a minute, wait, wait. Dozens and dozens of followers. All right. All right. Let's get on with it here. <laughs> so I got a few things on, on the menu this week. Uh, this morning, what we're going to do is we're going to finally get around to trying these Cocoa Pebbles, the candy bar. Um, the Fruity Pebble one was super fantastic. I loved it. I didn't see it or I would have got both of them just so we could kind of compare and contrast and have that little uh, featurette. But unfortunately, they didn't have it. So I wanted to try these anyway, because if it's half as good as the other one, then it's going to be a fantastic uh, candy bar. Uh, later on this week, well, not this week. We're going to go ahead and wait till next week at this point. Check this out. So this is The Iron Giant. I don't know if anybody's ever seen the movie The Iron Giant or not, but it's one of my favorite movies. It's a really cute, I don't want to say cute kids movie. It's just really well done. The animation is fantastic. The story is really good. And uh, I've always loved this particular action figure because it's it's pretty to you know uh, it's pretty spot on scale wise you know i don't know what the actual you know if this is one one hundredth of its actual size or whatever but what i plan on doing is doing a painting video this week i haven't done a lot of artsy fartsy paintsy videos and uh he's too clean and pristine what i want to do is really kind of really duff him up a little bit and make him look a little rusty around like the bolts and stuff i don't know give it a give it a more metallic look uh, see what we can come up with. It'll be fun either way, you know. Um, I've been eyeballing that figure for a long time, and it finally dropped down. I think it was like $14. So I was like, you know what? For $14, I've always wanted it. It's nice to have memorabilia of the things that you like. I also have the Sequest video coming up at some point soon. I've been editing away at that, but really I just have a lot of footage. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do with it and how I want to unveil it to the world. Um... I think it'll be interesting whatever we do, but um, I've talked to a few friends and we might collaborate on it. Maybe not. I haven't heard back from them. Fucking assholes. I feel like all I'm doing is talking about things. I guess that's what I always do, but today I just kind of feel like I'm talking about things. Like, let's eat this candy bar and I'll shut the fuck up for now. <laughs> I've been dying for something sweet. I, I have been, I have... Not been doing so well watching my sugar this week. It's It's been, well, you know, when, when you have company or you're visiting people, a lot of times you eat out a lot more, you order a lot more food, you cook a lot more food, you end up with a lot more leftovers, there's snacks around all the time. And I've only been working at about probably 50% capacity, like keeping up with, you know, not trying to avoid sugar when I can. Like I had two or three coffees this week. No, maybe... I'd say like four or five coffees over the last two weeks. And uh, I was at the point where I was having maybe one a week. So I'm just going to eat this anyway, because you won't know how good it is if I can't tell you how good it is. How else would you find out? How else would you find out if this is delicious or not? You wouldn't. There's no possible way. There is. Where would you be without me? Oh, I shouldn't have uh, broken it. That's all right. It doesn't matter. They all look the same. They have these little squares. Nice little details on them. Really well designed. I'm going to enjoy putting it in my mouth now. Dirty little bitch. Dirty little bitch. I think it's fucking better than the Fruity Pebbles one. Oh my god. They're so good. It's so fucking delicious. That chocolate's so good. Tastes like... Tastes like... What's the name of that cereal? 
<laughs> it tastes like cocoa pebbles. It tastes like cocoa pebble milk. It tastes like cocoa pebble milk. It's so good. Oh my god. <laughs> you want to see something? These are not for the vodcast. You'll have to wait and see what those are for. But you'll see. You'll see soon enough. You will see when the time is right. That is the best candy bar next to the Oreo, the big, chunky, giant Oreo. I would almost go as far as to say it's better because the big, giant... Here's a picture. Um, that is my favorite candy bar, with the exception of it gives me a toothache every time I eat it. It's it's like just it's like intense sugar just seeking out any little crevice or crack in your teeth, and it just attacks it. But the flavor is amazing. This, the flavor is just as good, and it's not giving me a uh, toothache, which is a good thing. You should always judge the candy you eat by the amount of toothache you receive after. I have some, I've talked about this on the show before. We've never gone into great detail. So let me show you this and then I'll explain why I still have it. I have to be very careful with this because it's a very thin Lay's chip. But I am selling this for $200. Anybody who's interested, opening bid $200. This is uh, the Eye of Sauron in chip form. His Holiness, the Eye of Sauron. <laughs> the fuck am I talking about? Go get that candy bar. Oh, wait, you can't because the only way you will ever know what it tastes like is if you watch a candy review. What is that? Why is that open? Let's see what this does. Oh, didn't really do anything. Maybe it did something. I don't know. Let's take a question from our studio audience. Number 68? Number 68? 68. When has your life dramatically changed as the result of a seemingly random external influence? Good question. Um, I can't think of, well, I mean, almost everything that pops into my head is negative. Like just something that, terrible that's happened to someone. Um, I don't want to talk about that. So uh, I did read the second half of this question to myself, and I kind of like this a little bit better. How much do you feel in control of the course of your life? How much do you feel in control of the course of your life? It's a funny question uh, when you start to think about it. Not a funny question. It's, it's, a, it's, it's funny what your brain does when you're trying to formulate an answer to that question. Because you can say yes. Because right now, if I really wanted to, I could go out, get in my car, and drive off a cliff. Or, or you know, do a, any number of heinous acts. But morality and your your internal compass, I think, just kind of like, whoa, whoa, you know. So I guess a better way to, to, to word this is how much does your moral structure affect the course of your life? Because... I believe we are chaotic being, beings at the, at the core, you know, um, because we, we do have that ability, uh, that animalistic ability to just do whatever the fuck we want whenever we want to do it. Right now, I can do whatever I want. Do I want to smash my window? I don't want to, but I could. But where is the control lie? Does the control lie in my ability to be like, that's stupid, don't do that? Because I feel like that's a, that's a form of control right there. Whereas I should smash my window right now just to prove that I control the course of my life. You know? Is there some internal mechanism that's stopping me from breaking the window right now? Because I know that, A, I'm going to have to deal with a broken window and cleaning it up and calling somebody to replace the window. And dealing with it during the time of not having a window. Am I going to put plastic on up? Am I going to just take the computer out of the way? You know, there's a million, uh, you know, questions that arise from this situation. So where is the control? Am I in control because I'm not doing it? Or am I not in control because I'm not doing it? There's something to think about. Control. Does anyone actually have control? Or do we all really have control? Let's ask Janet Jackson. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed those words of wisdom from the late, great Janet Jackson. What? She's not dead? She didn't die? Oh, that was her brother. Which one? 
No. <laughs> it's great. You're fired. Get the fuck out of here. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I hope you guys are enjoying watching this chaos as much as I'm loving adding to the chaos of the universe. If you are, you should definitely consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliveira. This is the Vodcast Podcast, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take care and boy howdy. Ha, <laughs>